Welcome back, guys. So last time we have seen a comparator with a custom type, which is just written here. Now we'll sort this without using comparator. So we will use something called as comparable interface. Now, now think about this. In the, when you sort a uh, integer, when you sort strings, at that time you just pass this thing, not the entire part. You just pass. You just, you just say you have a collection. Sort it. Now that means it is this this object responsibility or this collection responsibility is to sort it, right? So what if this student class knows about how to sort their own object? What I mean is, now this this student object will compare either roll number or marks or some different logic by itself. That means they don't require a comparator. Now if you want to make it possible, you have to implement you have to implement a class or an interface called as comparable. So it should be compared with student. Okay. Now since we are implementing this, we have to uh, implement, uh, we have to write a method which is public int compare to. Now in case of comparator, we have a compare function. And in case of compa uh, comparable, we have compare to function. Now compare it, compare will take two parameters as somebody else is comparing those objects. In case of comparable, one object will compare with another object, which means one object will initiate the process and the second object will be passed as a parameter. It, that's why we require only one, one method, one parameter here and we'll name this as S. Now how to compare the same way we have done in previous uh, example, we have to say, uh, Instead of using S1 or S2, one object is the instance which, which has uh, called this compare to and one which is passed, which means the instance which is call, which is calling this function is this. So we can say this dot marks. If this is greater than S dot marks, so in this scenario, print my mi uh, return minus one else. Check for if this dot marks is less than s dot marks. In this scenario, we return one, and otherwise we return a zero. Okay. So this time, instead of uh, using comparator, I'm directly implementing something called as comparable with my class, so that in my main function I can directly say sort dot stoods. Now this sort don't have to uh, take extra effort to define the logic, right? So if I run this now, yeah, it's still working, right? That means we can use comparator or we can use comparable. Now, which is better? It depends upon situation. If you are going with a custom class, uh, so it is always preferable to create your own or implement a comparable interface. Otherwise, if it is an inbuilt class where you cannot change the uh, we cannot change the definition of the class that that time we can use comparator Okay, so this is how comparable and comparator works. So thank you so much for watching. Do subscribe for further videos